and it's beautiful it's easy when you talk about these things and then they are now understood if there are things i didn't know but you want me to do and i really i, I really want to man I, I love you i want to marry i want to make you happy then the onus is now on me to start to learn to do those things to begin to cultivate those habits to begin to try to do those things or to say i'm not very comfortable with this i can try please don't hold it against me or i'm not very comfortable with this i'm not sure i can do it i'll see let's see how things go you also have to agree to that sort of thing agree to compromise agree to negotiate that's what it's all about amen amen so this closely related to career choices and career especially for the woman for the man not really because marriage sometimes would affect the man's career but most times not the trajectory and the goals of his life usually remain the same usually not always but usually remain the same most of the time it is the woman's career that is affected because marriage and childbearing and childbearing would affect it and i mean and pregnancy is what i meant to say station and you know you leave you leave a gaping hole a longing and there, which would give rise to a temptation for them to begin to seek affirmation or begin to seek for those needs to be met elsewhere. So this is so important. You need to pay attention to it. Amen. So the other things to discuss, of course, family, how many kids do you want? Um, where would you like to live? Uh, do you have plans, especially like, for instance, here in Nigeria, do you have plans of relocating? Is this something, it, you know, God has spoken to you about? Or is this one of your dreams or something you would like to do? It's important to discuss these things so that, you know, if you know, I'm happy to do it, fine. If it's, you know, not on your books, you can decide, is it something I don't mind? Is this something I don't mind bringing in? Or are you totally against it? It's important to discuss those sort of things amen communication we always come back to communication find out what is your communication style you know when you are quiet would you like to be left alone or would you like me to come and ask and probe you know because for some people when they're quiet they want to be left alone so it's a cue for leave i want to be by myself and you just leave them by themselves and sometimes you show your spouse love by giving him space him or her space to be on their own for some people, it's what they want. But for some people, you can give them that space and they would feel left, ignored, uh, unloved, um, you know, isolated. So you need to find out what works for both of you. You know, how would you like me to communicate? You know, if you're someone who always shouts and, you know, you're combative, you know, you're dramatic, you explain yes this is how i am and, and person says no 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 i don't you know this won't work you have to start to learn how to you know calm things down so this is very very important now for conflict resolution and sometimes even communication you need to test these things um, i would say most couples would have disagreements during the time of courtship so that's a good time to find out how do you make up when you quarrel or when you disagree on something? Do you disagree and agree or do you disagree stonewall and don't don't text me, don't talk to me. Do, no, let's not make up for one week. Then after another week, maybe somebody has to beg this person and beg that person before you can make up or somebody has to come and call you put together and talk to two of you before you can make up or you can actually act like adults and one person is the bigger person and calls and says okay it's time to talk or you just gloss over it and just start talking without settling the underlying problem so it's very very important this is the time to begin to learn how to resolve your conflict amicably amen so there's a, there are a few other tests you could like patience tests you know because in marriage, you have to be patient with each other. You have to be patient. If you're not patient, then things will spoil. Things will spoil because you would get, get on each other's nerves. It is just part of being human. Same way you get on your siblings' nerves, same way your parents can get on your nerves, the same way you're, when you even have children who you love so much, your children will get on your nerves. So um, it is all about patience. And sometimes you can carry out tests like, you know, Keep him waiting for no reason. 
you've been waiting for no reason or you know don't call her for a couple of days and see what she does you know but you can you can do those tests you know but i would say with caution don't oh, don't push it too far and make sure that you explain yourself thoroughly when the test time is over so you don't um, do any lasting damage but um sometimes it's good to do some of these tests and there's some things you would not be able to test honestly because some people are very good at pretending um, and these are the wolves in sheep's clothing some of them are, can be very very good at pretending they will just isolate you and make you feel all is well and make you feel like they are you know the prince and princess of of Igbo land and you will be shocked that they're not what they claim to be this is where the spiritual comes in this is where the spiritual comes in and you know we had a pastor who used to teach a lot on this sort of thing you know you tell god you know uncover anything that is covered expose anybody who is a traitor or who anybody who is who who is a pretender you know these are prayers you need to pray really very seriously for god to uncover anything that is hidden you know might be one of the most important prayers you pray during your courtship that god will bring to light anything any deceit anything that is being hidden that would cause you to make the wrong decision you might need to pray those prayers very very heavily for god to open your eyes especially when you're not sure what is going on or you're undecided or or you, you see some some red flags but you're not too sure it, it's important to do those prayers and god will begin to reveal to you what you should do because this is a very 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 important decision to make so um this is how I want to end, you know. The choice of a life partner is so important. And this courtship period is one of the most important times because this is when you make the decision to go with this person. I would say don't forget the place of prayer, which is what we've just said. Do not neglect the place of prayer place of prayer because God you know he has if there's anything about 360 vision God can see everything and you want to be in tune with what God is doing you want to be in tune. even when you're you know heavily emotionally invested you know you're in love with this person still pray and have people who are praying for you as well which is why spiritual covering is so important because these are people who will see even when you can't see so listen you know, have a, have, you know, that disposition of, you know, yes, this I'm, I'm all in, but I want to do God's will. I'm listening. So listen, if you listen, you would hear, you would hear and you would know. As people say, a broken courtship or a broken engagement is better than a broken marriage. What it means is at the courtship period, you still have a chance to say, I don't agree. I don't want to go ahead and that is fine. You can say, I don't want to go ahead and that is fine, very fine. So um, it's important that you make the right decision. You see, God's will overall, be determined to do God's will. It doesn't matter what the optics look like. You know, things might not look all rosy, things might not look classy and all that, but be determined to go with God's will, God's best for your life. Because you see, you know, this time around probably won't be discussing about, you know, broken marriage and divorce, but you see, you can't come out of a marriage unscathed. You, you can't come out scar-free. You can't come out um, the same way you went in. It's a, it's, it is a lot easier to go in than to come out. But when you come out, you would come out with a lot of emotional and spiritual baggage that you would need to sort through. And if you can avoid it by doing courtship the right way, then by all means, you know, cross every T and dot every I. So do everything you are supposed to do during the courtship period. The spiritual aspect we cannot overemphasize. 
make sure you are on top of it you are praying without ceasing and that you have a spiritual coverage it's so so important and that you are listening and i trust that if we do these things god will honor us god will honor us god has a plan for your life god knows your mate god has a plan for your marriage all you need to do is to yield to his plan and everything will be plain everything would be fine amen and amen so god bless you i i believe god would work things out in his own time amen let us pray father we thank you we thank you we thank you lord god for your word we thank you for what we have heard father we ask for the grace to do we ask for the grace to do and for even for the married ones father lord god we pray for a new beginning we pray that you would make a way where there seems to be no way thank you father thank you lord for we've asked and prayed in jesus name amen and amen let us pray for our offerings father we receive the offerings we thank you everywhere for it has come out from we thank you for your provisions lord father we pray for your blessings to come upon all of us in the name of jesus amen and don't forget we have our tuesday meetings we're going back to our rapture series from tuesday this week so please join us in um, all our, meet our meetings on Zoom on Tuesday. And on Wednesday and Friday, we have a prophetic prayers. Uh, please join us as well. You can leave your email or you can leave your number and we would send you the Zoom link. Um, we are having a lovely, lovely time. I would like for you to join us. God bless you. We are going to have a brilliant so week. I can't believe we are already in the last week of February. But still, we have seven more days or almost seven days. And I believe that God is bringing us into a wealthy place. This February, this last week of February, anything that is that you have been expecting from God or through the month or you have been praying and crying for, we call it forth this last week in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are trusting God for his favor to meet us every day we go, we go out. We would meet God's favor. Men will favor us. Nations will favor us. Companies will favor us. Businesses will favor us. We have God's favor all over our lives. Our children are blessed. The works of our hands are blessed. Our homes are blessed. Our marriages are blessed in the name of Jesus. God bless you.